this video is off to a great start. I just realized that my microphone wasn't plugged in. <sighs> so please, sit back, relax, and get ready for a few minutes of excruciatingly shitty audio quality. Hey guys, so today I have something very exciting planned for you all. You all love my cooking complicated recipes in a foreign language video so much. That today we're going to be cooking slime in a foreign language. Now let me assure you all, I have never made slime before. I've never even watched one of those making slime videos on YouTube. I have absolutely no idea how it's done. I don't know if you put it in the oven. I don't know if you freeze it. I don't know. Which only really opens up the opportunity for this video to go tragically wrong. Which is what we like to see on this channel anyway. So today, as of Mirror Century's request, we will be making slime in Burmese. Let me all just tell you that until this very moment, I was so uneducated and I thought Burmese was a breed of cat. I didn't know it was a language. <laughs> so. I hope no one takes offense to this. It's really just an eye opener for myself of how uneducated I am. So we should just go right ahead and look at the recipe for the first time. Fluffy Rainya Kaya. This is the longest word I have ever seen. Parawain Pai Chai Kayamya. Oh no, I don't. This. I'm not trying to. Wow! What I was trying to say before I got distracted was that I'm not trying to be racist. Um, I'm. I'm literally just trying to pronounce things. There's only six ingredients, which is a plus. Concerning because the first ingredient really just looks to me like asparagus. A pyrogun. A pyron. Oh, that really long word just must mean ingredients. For such a short ingredient list, that is a very long word for ingredients. The word for ingredients is longer than the actual ingredient list. Fluffy Ray. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and assume this is a fluffy slime. It looks like me and my grade 2 English class trying to write up a slime recipe. It just looks like one big spelling mistake. So, this is going to be fun. Also, so for those of you who are new here, basically how this works, my best friend Nidhi has selected a slime recipe of her choosing, translated into Burmese, and today I'm going to try and make it. Okay, so the one thing that I have up my sleeve is that last night when Nidhi was preparing the recipe, she said it's one of her favorite slimes. Until this point, I didn't realize you could have favorite slimes, but I, I guess that's a thing. Anyway, I have a feeling it has something to do with green tea, because Nidhi is the only person I have ever known to be capable of over-caffeinating themselves on green tea. So I want to say that it's a green tea slime, which is coincidental because my outfit today was unintentionally green tea themed. But green tea isn't fluffy. Wait, no, there wouldn't be green tea in it because it's slime and you don't eat it. No! Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. He was me thinking this was gonna be easier than cooking in Russian, but I honestly recognize even fewer words than last video. Okay, so before we head down to the supermarket to collect the ingredients, let me lay down some of the ground rules. The same rules apply to this video as did the last. Rule number one, I'm allowed to ask you three questions at any point throughout the challenge. Rule number two, once something is placed in my shopping cart, the decision is final. And three, anything that I put in my shopping cart has to be used in the recipe. So basically, if I get snacky and see some popcorn lying around in the supermarket, market and decide I want it, it also means that I have to cook with it. If the slime isn't even cooked. Yeah. Oh, and one last thing. So basically, one of these six ingredients is essential to making slime and having never made slime before, Nidhi thinks it'll be impossible for me to actually know what it is. So she's going to get that ingredient for me. But I'm going to grab the rest. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I think we just, we just got to go and get the ingredients. <laughs> Hello everyone, we're currently in the male short section of Big W. We're hiding because a few weeks ago we got kicked out of Woolworths, which is the supermarket. Anyway, I have a few updates. First of all, the way that this is working is that <sighs> Nidhi has decided that she wants to actually make the recipe herself, which means that afterwards we'll get a good comparison between Ella's Burmese translation of slime versus Nidhi's actual making of slime. Yeah. Wait, let me get my recipe. <clears throat> I have been... This is like giving me anxiety because I don't want to get kicked out again. I think our first ingredient is corn flour. Let me read it to you. It's the one that I thought was asparagus. Apiarang kor. Kor sounds just to me a lot like corn flour. I already have corn flour at home, which is a bonus because it will save me financially. And it's coming up to Christmas time, as you can see. Um, wait, maybe I won't post this until after Christmas. <laughs> Who knows? It's... January. How much is this? Ten dollars. Why buy a ten dollar Santa t-shirt when you can buy like some Santa panties? Oh yes. Oh, these are ten dollars too. Oh, wait. 
We're adding these to the card. Should we get the small? No, because it'll be bad for my self-esteem if I get the small man's underwear and they don't fit. So maybe I should just go for medium. If they fall down, it's okay because I'm pretty used to public indecency anyway. <gasps> Look at all these. These are so much more exciting than female panties. We have surface paradise. We have, oh my God, the snack panties. Only for people who are themselves snacks. Wait, we need to go. We need to actually get our ingredients. Second ingredient, Ray. Now, I'm pretty sure this is water. Ray, sun rays hit big bodies of water and dry them up. Oh my god, it's a fire hydrant. I've never had so much fun. I should shop in the men's section more often. Okay, I'm pretty sure the last ingredient is food dye. Tuptne. Well, it looks like it's spelt like soup with a T. Maybe the T's silent. Tsunami is spelt with a T, and yet it's tsunami. I mean, I guess it's also T followed by an S. Is it? I don't know, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Soup -ne. Soup is liquidy and related to food. What is also soupy and liquidy and related to food? Food dye. Soup nay. Nay, it isn't actual food, but it is soupy. Food dye. This is this is gonna end up very badly, I can already tell. So we have two more ingredients to get. This ingredient, a carrot That sounds like a carrot soup. Why are there so many soups in this recipe? I wanna go over and talk near the crocs, but there's an old man picking out his own pear, so. My mum needed to wear this when she gave birth to me. $15! Oh my god, no, that <gasps> Wait, I've lost the Santa's hat. Oh my God, I've lost the Santa's hat. I don't understand. The Santa hat is gone. Should I just take it off the small? Someone just left their coffee. I'm kidding. Oh, it touched my mouth. It touched my upper lip. In bracket, we have three things. I reckon this is like an optional ingredient for like decorations. Akarasut arang. It just means look around the shop and see what you would like to add to your slime. Glitter and like sprinkles. <gasps> yes. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, I forgot we were making a matcha green tea. Matcha green tea, glitter and sprinkles. Tall gift wrap for when your package is tall. This will be my weapon of choice in the apocalypse because I know the start of the apocalypse is gonna be with one of my morning dumps. This is the only weapon you need. I'm definitely cutting that out. Sometimes I wish I could just vanish. When I start cracking out all the bad jokes, that's that that's when I wish I could vanish. I think I might have forgotten to put a tampon in again. Sparkles. No. Where is glitter? No. So we couldn't actually find any glitter in Big W, so we ended up having to go to the supermarket. And the only thing I actually bought from this shop was the sexy Santa costume. Anyway, when we got to the supermarket, something happened. You guys remember when I was cooking in Russian and they had just released the honeycomb Tim Tams, so I just had to get them and cook with them? Well, they're back. Just for this video. And they're half price. If that's not a sign, I, I really don't know what is. You're welcome. Hello everyone, and welcome back to a surprisingly festive episode of Cooking with Ella. So today we're gonna to be cooking at my bench right here. Partially because I think we can get away with not using the oven, but mostly because I didn't wanna to have to wipe down the benches. They're pretty dirty. They're pretty nasty. First things first. Coffee. I've had two coffees already, so they're going straight to the coffee meter. Place your best guesses now for how many coffees you think Ella will consume by the end of this video. <laughs> Let's do a little ingredient review. In the process of moving my ingredients from my pantry and bag to the table, I have consumed coffee number three. <gasps> Our ingredients are as follows. One cup of water. Corn flour. Sprinkles. Glitter glue because we couldn't find straight glitter. Got myself into a sticky situation. Kill me. And a packet of Tim Tams. <laughs> you may be wondering, Actually, no, you're not wondering at all. We had a dilemma. You see, I thought we had both food dye and green tea at home. Turns out I have neither of those things. So the only possible solution was uh, this packet of black currant jelly that I found in my cupboard. It offers both flavor and color. And now Nitty is going to reveal unto me the main ingredient. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Okay. Is it edible? No. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it. Is it just like glue? It just looks like glue. It has like the same consistency as saliva. This is the Borax Amhun. Um, oh! Okay, so Nitty says they apparently actually didn't have any Borax, so she's just swapped it out with this. So <laughs> hopefully it still works. It will still work? Yeah. Okay, it's still gonna work. Anyway, let's, uh, let's start. Let's start mixing. <laughs> Kia Marte, Pan Can, Pan Can, Ron Ho. <gasps> okay, um, the first instruction actually involves the core, which is the corn flour, and the rates mitant, which is. Wait. 
Oh my god, it's a Tim Tam. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how well the Tim Tams and the cornflour are gonna mix. But you know, this channel is a place for experimentation. I'd say my content is experimental. As is my entire existence, really. Do we need another coffee? I feel like I should ration myself. Half a cup of cornflour. Well, I assume half a cup. One half paquat, which kind of sounds like cup in the fact that it has a, a, a k sound in it. Oh no! It's half a quat co. What's the difference between a quat and a quat co? What if one's like a teaspoon? Nah, it's too complicated. We've just we've we've just gotta go with cups. So Yeah. <gasps> don't spill. I don't want to clean up mess later. The only mess I wanna have to clean up later is the mess that is my life. Half a cup of corn flour. Done. Done. Now, this is tragic. Oh, oh my god, they smell good. Mm. Oh, no, that's not even nearly half a cup. It uses up so many Tim Tams. It uses up so many Tim Tams. In today's episode of Cooking with Ella, I'm practicing self-control. Considering the sheer number of serving sizes of both caffeine and cheese popcorn that I consume on a daily basis, it's not really one of my strong points. I'm using a traditional <laughs> I'm using a traditional Japanese knife to cut the most Australian thing you will ever eat. Oh, oh this is so good. I regret getting the Tim Tams now purely because I have to look at the sheer number of them that I can't consume. I wish you could smell through the camera because my goodness, good smells are not something you usually witness on this channel, but today they are abundant. You know what we should do next time? We should make a slime recipe that's also edible. If anyone steals my idea, I'm coming at you with my lawyers. See, I feel a little betrayed because why would I spend time in the kitchen cooking things and then have to clean up if I'm not even going to be able to eat anything at the end of it? This whole video is just a farce. I'm just not happy. I'm going to take it out on the Tim Tams later. I need more coffee. <sighs> the thing is, for my health, I really should cut down on the caffeine, but I feel it just makes for a more interesting video if it gets to the point that I've drunk so much coffee that my whole body is shaken. If your girl's shaken, the viewers are quaking. Pan can. What is pan can? Why are there so many N's and so many A's in one word. Pan can. Pan can. Oh no. The first thing that came to mind was you can't stir it in a jug, but a pan can. Maybe we should cook this in a pan. That is a terrible idea. We will not do that. Oh, this is so sad. This is the most ethically un Australian thing I've ever done on this channel. The one cup of water and the mystery fluids. Mystery fluids. Mmm. It's a concerning diagnosis in any situation. What? The hell is a laugh patrage one? Because we need half of one of those. Um, do you reckon? Okay. Oh my god, I don't know what it is. Maybe we should just add the whole thing. Should we just? Maybe we should just. What? It. It's done now. There's no going back. Pan can again. I like. I assume pan can has nothing to do with pancakes and is just mixing. So I assume we have to mix this. What? Thirty to sixty. A cat. Her cack ant. Is that a measurement? Or is it an amount of time? Oh. What I think needs to happen is that we need to leave this to rest for 30 to 60 minutes. I think that's the only conclusion I can come to. Acepaborax, hypestame, psychiti, way. Paper. Paper? Surely not. It wasn't in the ingredient list, so we're not adding it now. I don't. I've done something wrong. No, be strong. Confidence is key. Fake it till you make it. I feel like in today's episode, there's gonna be substantially more faking than making, but all we can do is wait and see what happens. Let's set a timer for 30 minutes to 60 minutes. That's a big time window. Oh my God, that's a big time window. It, I'm sure it wasn't minutes. We've made the decision now. There's no going back. We just have to roll with it. Oh, I should have set a time limit for me making this. No, it doesn't matter. <gasps> but it's more fun if I'm under pressure. <laughs> so, um, might I just say, today's Ooted is somewhat unintentionally Christmassy coordinated. Speaking of my Ooted, if any of you are wondering what the purpose of such an excruciatingly tiny pocket is, well, I imagine wearing this shirt when I'm a 60 year old cougar, and I'm on the prowl in some futuristic nightclub, slip off the ring, put it in. I'm ready to score some underaged babes. <laughs> oh no. We need more coffee. I've already consumed three times the recommended serving suggestion of crema. That's how good it is. So, <gasps> the benchtop 
is particularly icy on my bare ass legs on this fine day. So let me let you guys in on a little bit of inside knowledge that I've accumulated in this lead up to the festive season. I spend a significant portion of my life browsing through costume shops. It's really just one of my favorite places to be. Anyway, I've noticed the uh, alarming number of sexy Santa costumes, which leads me to believe is Santa fetish a thing? Because last year, pony play went viral. Pony play, when people just dress up as ponies. Not to kink shame or anything. I'm just curious. Are Santa fetishes a thing? And if it is, are any of you guys a ho-ho for Santa fetishes? How much time has elapsed? Eight minutes. Eight minutes has elapsed. <sighs> is this getting any thicker? It's getting cloudier and cloudier. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do or if I dropped some food in there. Only time will tell. So, um, um how's, how's everyone's day been? How's my day been? Well, I woke up and things were going pretty, pretty fine. Somehow I ended up in a sexy Santa costume, so I think that pretty much says it all. Okay, I'm having some thoughts. So the question is, should we put this in the fridge or the microwave to speed up the process? Oh no, it's poisonous though. Will it contaminate the rest of my foods? Ooh. Oh. Mm. If I sit here any longer, I'm just gonna say and eat these Tim Tams covered in corn flour. So I am gonna remove myself from the situation for safety reasons and uh, meet you guys back here in 40 minutes. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Question is, could you see me? Let's try that entrance again with me in frame. It's been 53 minutes, that's good enough. If any changes were gonna occur, they would've occurred by now. And just by looking like this, we've literally just sat around for an hour doing nothing. This liquid has experienced no changes and no improvements. Which is coincidentally what I say to myself when it comes to puberty. It never happened. <laughs> the slime never happened either. I'm not sure whether or not we should have another coffee. Yes, one more. When Ella hits her fifth coffee, you know things are about to get serious. Okay. Wait. <gasps> oh. Okay, this stuff. The Tim Tam corn flour mixture. And the mystery fluids. It has the word pan cam in it again, which I can only assume means mix. A theory of how we arrive at that conclusion is pancake mixture. You mix it. Well, at least there's no chance of me consuming any corn flour Tim Tams anytime soon. This looks absolutely revolting. This looks like someone sampled some sewage and put my coffee creamer in it. The next step. There are a lot of words in this step that I don't understand. For the next two steps, I don't understand a single thing. In fact, the only thing I actually understand is the word fluffy. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my god, I don't understand. I don't understand. So, we might have to skip two or three steps because I don't understand anything until step number six. Which involves the glitter, the sprinkles, and the blackcurrant jelly. Let's give it a go. Oh. oh yeah. The smell. Oh. Never have Tim Tams ever smelt so toxic. <coughs> it was the glue bottle, I swear. <coughs> oh, this is so watery. This is disgusting. This looks like the contents of Elton John's sewage pipe. Your typical shit, but <coughs> a little more pizzazz. If your arsehole was a little bit extra. The uh, chemicals that we've placed in this have begun eating away at the Tim Tams. Which is tragic because I really thought that I was going to be the one eating away at the Tim Tams. That's enough. There were no quantities. A little bit more. Mm. Mm. Well that's... Oh my god, something's happening. Oh no, it's just sinking. Wait, it's foaming! It's getting fluffy! So it's a little bit disappointing. I poured in the hundreds and thousands sprinkles and unfortunately all the colors just kind of melted into one another. And somehow the mixture is even more brown than it was before. Delicious. Part of me likes it. Time to add the jelly. We're compensating for our lack of food dye and matcha powder. I actually also think the gelatin is gonna be a lifesaver. Because otherwise, our slime is more just kind of looking like a sad smoothie. Oh yeah. Let's see if the purple blackcurrant jelly is enough to combat the brown. 
<gasps> it moves. Even when I'm not staring at it. There are some funky chemical reactions going on in here. What are the, oh, the, the Tim Tams. I was wondering what the crunchy bits were. I didn't need any corn. On the plus side, our mixture isn't brown anymore. It is, however, an unusual shade of purple brown gray, if that's a color. The good thing about it is that it is quite sparkly. Apparently I haven't mixed it properly. I come from a mixed background and my parents didn't mix me properly either. So it runs in the family. Would you guys like a close up? The answer's probably no, but I'm still gonna show you. Yes. Right now our concoction is looking a little bit like someone blended a unicorn, drank it, and puked it back up. Our lone three alpine pine. I know none of these words. Our lone. I would have assumed that meant alone. Pop. <laughs> we need to leave the mixture alone for three alpine pines. What exactly are three alpine pines? Well, I can only assume it's defined by the length of time that it would take me to come up with a good related pun to do with alpine pine. She's a. Uh... Oh, she looks bad. She. Oh. So, what have I gained by making this video? Well, well, first let's start by saying what I've lost. I've lost an entire half packet of Honeycomb Tim Tams. However, I have simultaneously gained a half pack of Honeycomb Tim Tams. I think the only real reason anyone would recreate fluffy slime is uh, for the sniffing properties, because it, be, because it, because it contains glue. Now you may ask, why wouldn't people just buy glue and sniff that? Don't ask me, I don't sniff glue. Oh my god, I understand why the nozzle is this exact size and shape. They literally made these for the sniffers. Will this demonetize the video? Wait, my channel isn't even monetized. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if I get demonetized or not. We might as well abuse our freedom and say whatever we want. It's in the fridge. Okay, Nidhi has just entered the room to check up on how my slime doing. She's breaking away from her assignments to come and do more important things, which is catch up on the slime. It's like keeping up with the Kardashians, but keeping up with the slime. Which, in most situations, keeping up with slime wouldn't be a difficult thing. Considering the viscosity of slime. However, considering the viscosity of my slime, i.e. liquid, <laughs> it's pretty difficult to keep up with it. Go have a look. <laughs> and give it a whiff. <laughs> We're gonna clean up the workstation. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, we still have two steps left to do. I don't know what they could possibly be. I assume we need to knead the slime or something, but there's no way our slime is like in any state of being kneaded. Nobody needs my slime. <laughs> Just the way that nobody needs me. Mm. Oh, oh. Okay, so Nitty is about to start making her slime while our sets. Foam. What? Oh, mm -hmm. food coloring, additional food coloring. <gasps> no, no. Okay, this is crazy. Because I accidentally got one of the ingredients correct. Why is? Can I ask why it says? Wait, really? The water? The was water correct? is correct. Yes. But the water is used for the borax. But since we don't have borax, I can't use water or borax. I'm using. Oh, this is a combination of water and borax. Uh, yeah. If you didn't catch that, you know how the special ingredient Nitty was getting wasn't there, so she got an alternative? Well, the alternative didn't need to be mixed with water, but Nitty failed to tell me this, which is probably only 5% of the reason why my slime turned out so bad. For a minute, I thought this was like cream. It was an instinct. The first thing you do when you get a cream in a can just goes straight in. Because we haven't really gained anything from this video, so we might as well gain some weight. Oh my god! So, so what is gonna happen? Nitty is gonna make the glue in front of you. But before she makes it, I'm gonna narrate the instructions. So, we're not using the water. Nitty failed to tell me we weren't using the water. Which is why today my bowel movements aren't the only thing that's runny, honey. Let's make some slime. How to make unicorn slime which is both fluffy and pink. Step one, shake up your shaving cream can nice and good, spray it into a can and mix it with your glue. It's the perfect bridge between shaving and waxing. <laughs> Oh, I laughed. <laughs> okay, no, I'll just keep that in. Step two. You already have your magic liquid because Nitty didn't tell us we no longer require the water. F*** you, Nitty. Step three. Mix the glue and shaving cream mixture together with the magic liquid that Nitty didn't tell us we shouldn't add water to. F*** 
unity. Step four. Something to do with the mixture. Let me see. Sane eat. No. Don't sane eat that motherfucker. Because it's poisonous. And you will die. If you're sane, don't eat the mixture. Step five. Admire just how fluffy your pink fluffy unicorn mixture is. Do so for approximately. <laughs> do so for approximately three a minutes minutes. What's the difference between a minute and minute, you may ask? Uh. There's just a lot more deliberation, so it just takes a little bit longer. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Step six, add your first food coloring. Step seven, add your pink, followed by your yellow food colorings, and hope that it doesn't turn into Ella's sewerage unicorn color. Step eight, <laughs> something to do with three minute, ah uh, minute minutes. Once again, admire your slime creation for another three ah uh, minute minutes. While you're doing so, scream at the top of your lungs. No! Is this racist? I feel like this whole series might be just a little bit racist. In those three minutes of contemplating and admiring, make sure to also reflect on your racist behavior. Step nine, mix that glitter glue to your liking. The more extra, the more glue. Step 10, need that motherfucker because you need this glue in your life. Need it until it becomes fluffy and unicorny and glittery. Although it should already be glittery because we put a crap ton of glitter in it. So if it's not, go back to step nine and put in some more glitter. This is your host, Elle Watkins. Before we sign off, here is some much awaited Tim Tam ASMR. <laughs> oh, wildly tasty. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the reveal? The great comparison. First we have Nitty's Fluffy Unicorn Slime. It's actually called Fluffy. And it is actually unicorn slime. I just thought mine looked like a blended unicorn. Turns out I was pretty on point because we're actually trying to make unicorn slime. This looks more like rainbow ice cream if you ask me. So for slime in general, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. For hitting the mark of Fluffy Unicorn Slime, I'm gonna have to give it a seven. An overall score of an 8.5. As for mine. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, oh, it smells! <coughs> Is it fluffy? Yes. Does it look like a unicorn blended and shat out again? Yes. Is it a slime? No. In terms of filling the brief of fluffy unicorn, 10 out of 10. In terms of filling the brief of slime, I'm gonna give it a generous one. Yeah. Actually, no, I get a bonus point because Nitty failed to tell me not to use the water. So, a two. Those two criteria in mind, I'm gonna give myself a minus three. <laughs> it was really sticky. It was at this moment she knew she fucked up. <sighs> oh, it smells so bad. This is how you sneeze in unicorn. My nose was just being assaulted with so many scents. Oh my God, how are we gonna get rid of this? We need to act like actually put it in like a biohazard waste. Basically, that concludes today's video. Once again, a massive success. When is the cooking video with Ella not a success? I don't know. The answer is never. Oh, it comes off my hand like cheese. With every touch of nitty slime, our two slimes are looking more and more like one another. It's going brown. <laughs> I feel like if we put mine in the freezer, it might go a little more solid. We don't have the patience for that. Plus, I don't want to see this ever again. I feel nauseous. You ruined honeycomb Tim Tams for me. You ruined them. Actually, before we conclude this video, there's only one thing left to do. Mm. It tastes so good. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again, guys. If you're not already subscribed, it's all I want for Christmas. Turn on those bell notifications. Get Christmassy with me this December. And as per usual, if you're planning on unsubscribing, make sure it's only sent out the satisfaction of subscribing again. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.